Hey guys, Fuzzy Knopf here. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to get and install and use John the Ripper for Mac OS X. If you're not familiar, John the Ripper is a password cracking utility. Uh, I recently had to use it for uh, one of the war games I was playing, so uh, I thought I may as well make a video in how you guys can go ahead and get it. So um, all you need to do is open up a terminal window and you should be looking at something pretty similar to what I'm looking at here. Um, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and download it through FTP from OpenWall, who uh, I guess they host John the Ripper. Um, so all you need to do is type FTP, and we're going to log in as anonymous at ftp.openwall.com. When it prompts us for a password, we'll type anonymous, and we should be logged in successfully. Once we're logged in, we can go ahead and browse the directory structure with basically Linux commands that we know and love. And let's go and find our version of John Ripper to download. It is in the pub folder. Within the pub folder, it's in the projects folder. Within there, it's in the John folder. Now, in the John folder, there are different. Uh, nope, in here, you need to go to contrib. Okay, so within contrib, there's a uh, like pre built, pre compiled versions that people have uploaded. So that's where the uh, Mac OS X version is. So from here we can change the directory to Mac OS X. Once we're in here, here's the versions of John we can download. I'm just going to grab the newest one, which seems to be 1.7.6 Jumbo 9. By the way, tab completion works, or should work here. So you don't have to type it. You can just use tab to uh, complete uh, as long as it's unambiguous from that point. Um, so type git and the file you want to get, it will download it. Once it's finished downloading, we can type quit to pop out of that FTP session. Now you'll see that we have a, a file, a zip file here, and we can unzip it with the unzip command from the command line. There it goes unzipping everything. I'm going to clear the screen and let's see. Now we have a folder here with the uh, same name. Um, I'm going to make a directory here that I'm going to move some of the files to. I'm going to call it JTR for John the Ripper, so MKDIR space JTR to just make that folder. Now within this big long folder name, there's a folder called run. That run folder is uh, where everything's at. So within that run folder you can see here's all the files that make up John the Ripper. It actually has a default password list and uh, some different uh, some different stuff that it uses in brute forces to try and do it a little more intelligently. But um, So what I'm going to do is copy this contents of the run folder up into my JTR folder so I don't have to go down through this long name here every time. So we're just going to do uh, cp-r for recursive and in that folder run to JTR. So everything should be copied. Now I'm going to cd into my new folder. John is inside here. Um, so if you didn't see in another video, I dumped some password hashes from my Windows machine. So we're going to go ahead and crack those right now. I have stored them in my home folder under this name here, which is the default naming for fgd dump. Uh, fg dump. It's uh, just the IP address and pw dump. So go back into our JTR folder and just type dot slash john. If you just type it, it gives you an output of uh, different options that you can use. and you, I'll leave you to play around with those, but by default it does a pretty good job. Um, you can download some other word lists and try those out, and you can be brave and try and edit the configuration file to uh, do different mutations on the word list to try and get uh, you know small permutations in words that people try and you know, think that are think they're secure, but they're not. So here we are. We will run dot slash John and I'll go up one directory to get to that password file. And that's it. It's gonna load the passwords and you see right through its default thing, it cracked uh all three of them basically. So now at this point it runs through that word list in about like two seconds. So it's hit my password of uh, dude3 and dude2 
and dude for accounts with the same names and it's hit my password of password for administrator now um, at this point if you press like space it'll tell you where it's where it's at it's gonna keep chugging along here until it gets through uh, an entire brute force attack so I'm gonna stop it with control C um, there were some other accounts in that uh, hash file but I don't I think they don't have passwords so it won't actually be able to crack them. So as you can see, we cracked passwords with John the Ripper and everything's great. So if you like these videos guys, please subscribe. Otherwise until next time.